Casey Kasem. I'm Ed McMahon for Casey Kasem. This is our weekly worldwide presentation of radio's 40 hottest hits. Here's the first top 40 hit for the band that's currently number one on the alternative chart. They're Linkin Park, an alternative metal band from Los Angeles, California. From their 5 million selling CD hybrid theory, this is Linkin Park debuting at number 35 with In the End. It starts with... Well, now we're up to the song In the End by a band who follow in a long, well-respected rock tradition. (laughs) The tradition of misspelling your name. The band is called Lincoln Park. They're named for Lincoln Park in Santa Monica, California. But while the park's name is spelled like that of President Abraham Lincoln, the band decided to vary the spelling, making it L-I-N-K-I-N. And they're far from the first act to do that. The legendary heavy metal group Led Zeppelin may be the most famous misspelled band ever. The British band Def Leppard misspelled both parts of their name. So do the popular alternative rock bands Corn, Stained, and Limp Biscuit. And there's the band that, like the other acts, has English teachers all over the country wringing their hands and shaking their heads. And that means we're up to the number one song in the USA. It's by a band who recently put on a very special show March the 4th thanks to a letter they received from a 7th grade class. It all began when students in the 7th grade at the Merman School in Santa Monica, California made a commitment to help a hospice. The hospice is called Trinity Kids Care. It's a pediatric hospice that provides home assistance for terminally ill kids and their families. The seventh grade students at the school wanted to put on a benefit to raise money for the hospice. They say that at first they were thinking of trying to talk some local unknown band into playing for a dance. But then miracles began to happen. One of the seventh graders knew a woman who worked with nonprofit groups. He asked for her help. By coincidence, she had seen the lead singer of this band, Chester Bennington, walking his dog in her neighborhood. She suggested the class write Chester a letter, asking if his band would perform at their benefit. She hand-delivered the letter to the singer, and after he read it, to everyone's surprise, Chester said yes. He also asked the House of Blues to provide a space for the benefit. The end result was a benefit put on by a 7th grade class that raised... $85,000 for terminally ill children. A benefit that owes everything to the big hearts of the band that stands tall this week at the top of the chart. The number one song in the USA on American Top 40 for the fourth week in a row is In the End by Linkin Park. American Top 40 And that means we're up to the number one song in the USA. It's by a band with two voices, each of whom does what the other can't. The two vocalists for this super hot new group says sometimes they feel as if they were really one person in two different bodies. There are moments when they bounce off each other so smoothly, it's hard to tell which one is at the mic. The way it breaks down is that Chester Bennington does the singing, while Mike Shinoda does the rapping. They work hand in hand, often passing the mic from one to another. And they say they're a well-matched set. Chester Pennington says he's a good singer, but not very talented as a rapper. Mike Shinoda is a good rapper, but not very talented as a singer. Chester says, I've been singing my whole life. Mike has been rapping his whole life. We fit. And that's just what they're doing on the song that's at the top of the chart this week. The number one song in the USA on American Top 40 for the sixth week in a row is In the End by Linkin Park. American Top 40 We're counting down the most popular songs in the USA and slipping two notches is a band first known as Hybrid Theory but had to change their name because of legal reasons. So they rechristened themselves Linkin Park and called their album Hybrid Theory. Here's Linkin Park at number 14 with a hit from that album, In the End. It starts with one. Welcome to the Hit Zone. Check it out. Hey. Yo, what's up? AZ-40. Stand by. Here we, here we, here we go. Hey, yo, this the Malcast boys. Nelly Furtado. This is Madonna. American Top 40. Hey, this is Gwen from No Doubt. Hey, yo, this is Buster Rhymes. Hey, this is Christina Aguilera. Yo, 
Count them down, baby. American Top 40 with Ryan Seacrest. My name is Ryan Seacrest coming to you from Hollywood. We're up to Lincoln Park and Chester Bennington of the band recently smashed his hand at a London show. Apparently he was frustrated by sound problems, so he decided to smash a brick wall. The lesson he learned, quote, never punch a brick wall, it punches back. I think you're right. It's dangerous, Chester. He's feeling a little numb at number nine this week. Lincoln Park on AT40. Ladies and gentlemen, the countdown continues. Serving a hit nation coast to coast and around the world. American Top 40 with Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest, and here's a case where persistence paid off. The band Lincoln Park was rejected three times by their label Warner Brothers, not to throw them under the bus, before they finally gave them a deal. So you have to wonder what they finally did right. Well, they hit it with their second top ten hit. It's Lincoln Park with Numb. American Top 20. Now we're up to an American Top 20 extra by Lincoln Park, a band whose lead singer says joining the group was the most terrifying thing he's ever done. Singer Chester Bennington was about to quit music when the phone rang at his house. It was a Los Angeles band called Lincoln Park. They heard a demo Chester made and wanted to know if he was available. Chester says, quote, My wife and I had a lot to lose. We were living in Arizona. If this failed, it could ruin us and destroy our relationship. Chester says he didn't sleep for nights worrying about what to do. And he finally decided to give it a try. Quote, I didn't want to look back on my life wondering what would have happened if I had gone for it. So Chester moved to L.A. while his wife stayed in Arizona. To save money, he slept on a couch in the studio where they recorded. Guitar player Brad Delson says Chester's commitment really motivated the band. Quote, he was risking so much, he would tell us, guys, I don't think we're working hard enough. Well, their hard work paid off. Here's Lincoln Park with a hit from last year, Shadow of the Day. From last year, Shadow of the Day, an AT20 Extra by Lincoln Park. I'm Casey Kasem. Now, on with the countdown. 